Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another manual graphics tutorial. The first tutorial of 2015, it's going to be a good one. So today we're going to be making something in GIMP, something we haven't done for a while. We're going to be making a uh, learning to make long shadows. So this is my new logo, and you can use anything from text to even from your logo and text and basically any shape as well. So we'll just be going over this very simple technique and um, hope we uh, have a good time. So let's create a new document, 1280 by 720, and I just chose a red for my background. You can choose any colour you like. Um, the first step I'm going to do is open up my logo. So I'm going to go File, Open as Layers, Logo Transparent, and um, I'm going to scale this. So line this in the center of our document here. And I'm going to make it even smaller, maybe to 600. You can use text for the, if you don't have a logo. And click scale. There we go, that's a better size. Okay, let's get started. So the first step is under the logo layer, or your text layer, we're going to make a new layer just above the background. And this one we're going to call um, shadow. Because this is the layer we'll be making the shadow one. And we're going to drag our document out a bit, so we've got some more workspace. Get our pen tool and we'll start up in the corner. So to do your long shadow, we start off in the top right hand corner of your text, logo, whatever. And basically, we're going to click once with our pen tool, go down on our cup. Go down on a diagonal. I'm just going to go all the way across. The next step, we're going to click here and go up on the same sort of angle and then up, doesn't matter, and hold command or control to connect. Then we're going to go to selection from path here. We're then going to fill this with black. Bam. Command or control shift A to deselect. And we're going to get our move tool and just move it a bit. Okay, that looks good. Now we're going to get an eraser tool. And we're just going to get a hard brush. Just start erasing away all this gunk here. Look at this. We're going to get rid of all this. Okay, sign to look really good. Of course, mine's not going to be perfect, but yours is. And that's definitely not perfect. As you can see, that's not perfect, but yours, of course, is going to be perfect how you like it and trying to get some sort of shape there there we go this one has come around
something like that. Then we're going to get our move tool and click on our text, hit it a few times, get our shadow, move it a few times. There we go. So that's the main portion of the shadow done. Now we're going to lower the opacity to get something you like. And if you accidentally, as you can see here, I've accidentally done this. If you don't want to just undo, you can just go to your paintbrush tool and just paint on a bit of black there. There we go. So you can either put it on overlay if you get a strong shadow there and just lower it. Or you can just lower the opacity. I'm going to leave it like this for now because I think that looks really cool. And um, another thing you can do to it is you can go to layer, mask, add layer mask, white full opacity, um, get your gradient tool or blend tool, set it FG to transparent with black as the foreground color, and you can um, simply stroke up like that to get sort of a fading effect. Um, something like that, a bit less maybe. But it's all up to you and since it's very personalised. I'm going to leave it without a layer, um, without a without that fade, I like it quite strong. Um, so that's how we make a uh, long shadow in GIMP. So thank you very much for watching this tutorial and I hope you learned a lot and um, let's make 2015 as good as 2014. Thank you.